Hey guys, for today's video, I went to the Ukay Ukay's Anonas. Uh, this was a spontaneous trip. I was with my mom and my brother and we just decided to pass by and luckily it was new arrivals here at our suke. So these are my brother's picks. Uh, first one is this Echo United jeans. Super good. Next is this Cos Maroon shirt. Very oversized and just a green button down shirt. This is us just in the counter putting our stuff and our picks. Next are my picks and first up is this reversible vest, my favorite. And next up is this brown oversized shirt I decided not to get because it's very expensive and I don't need it. And next up is this jersey, I just had to get it, I love blue core and yeah. Red. And I also found this cute graphic shirt. Last piece I found is this crochet vest. And grabe, when I saw this, I immediately got it and showed to my brother. Here's my brother with it. And yeah, I bought it. Biglang rumami yung tao and sobrang init. As in, I was sweating so much. And sobrang nakakatamad mag browse through when you're sweating and it's super hot. So I didn't look much anymore and here's my mom looking through and the cashier said that the other store has new arrivals on May. I think first week of May so you guys can check that out. This is the store we went to and it's just me and my mom and our things. Okay, the next place I went to is the Season Pass Flea Market at Maginhawa. It's a monthly thing. And me and my brother decided to go because it's just super near our house, so why not? There were a lot of sellers as usual and it's just so nice to see a lot of people enjoying thrifting as much as we do. So I like to browse around, but it was super hot again. Sobrang nakakatamad to browse through if it's super hot, so I was browsing through super fast. A lot of Stussy pieces here, so you guys just visit the flea market if you guys want some. I saw this Missoni Sport knit top and I really wanted it but it was so expensive so I passed. Just browsing through the racks of the sellers, honestly sobrang ramming selection here and it's kinda overwhelming. But you guys, this is a must visit flea market as in, you won't leave this flea market without buying anything. So much Carhartt pants here, like double knee, carpenter pants, you name it, they have it here. Then we decided to go in because there was aircon here. And grab it, this cardigan. I'm regretting not getting this one. As in it was perfect fit, very cropped, and the color is so good. So much knit vest, knit sweater, sobrang grandpa vibes, and I really love that. Such a well curated store as in I love everything in this store and then I saw this white denim jacket from Guess, super ganda. I saw this graphic knit cardigan but I passed because it was too long. And we saw this Marlboro jacket x Yu Yu Hakusha, the anime, I'm not sure if I pronounced it right but it was super nice. The patches, everything about it was so good. We decided to go up the second floor and grab it again super ramming good stuff here. There were a lot of designer shoes here and some sneakers. Look at the Jordans and then I saw the screen and cream. Corduroy jacket, so good. If I had a lot of money, sobrang ramming ko nang nabili. For real, as in sobrang ramming maganda here. They also had rings but my fingers are small so it didn't fit me. I wish they had smaller sizes. Then we went up to the third floor and this floor focused on designer pieces, vintage, everything. Grabe. Then my brother found this Versace square to derbies as in good condition and he had to try it on and when he tried it on, he knew that he had to get it. 
as in super ganda, good condition, and it was only 3,500 pesos. Next, we went to the third floor of the outside portion, and then we found this Carhartt Detroit jacket. Super ganda, it was my brother's size, but it was 8,000 pesos. There are a lot of sellers here on the third floor, so don't forget to check it out. I found this pink cardigan. I really like it, but it was expensive and I was thinking about it, so I just checked the other stores first. Next store we went to, we saw this Marlboro red vest. It was so good, but 2,000 pesos, we had to pass. At this moment, I was still thinking about the pink cardigan. Then I found this white cardigan in the same store and they had a deal for two items for 1,000 pesos, so... I just had to get them both. It was getting super hot so we decided to go home na. But before we go home, let's do a quick fit check. And for today's outfit, I decided to go for a blue core outfit. Uh, my shades is Prada. My top is Thrifted. My bag is Telfar. My jeans are from Uniqlo X JW Anderson and Red Sambas. Okay, my brother's turn, Uniqlo tank top and then carpenter pants, my Lee bag, and he's already wearing the shoes he got. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name's John and I do fashion content on YouTube. And today we have another thrift haul. And I went to a lot of ukay ukay, flea markets, and the Sunday market as well, so... I've gotten a lot of new clothes, so I'm here to show it to you guys. Okay, let's start with the clothes that I got from my favorite ukay spot, which is the Anonas ukay. And I got like four things, so let's begin. Okay, let's start with one of my favorite finds from this entire haul. And it's this crop boxy nylon vest. And in this purple color, it's like very deep purple. It has amazing ribbing on the bottom and on the sleeves, and it has a high neck. And not only that, it's reversible. One thing I like finding in the thrift is reversible clothes because it's like you're paying for two, two items for one. The reversible side is this neon green. I mean, it's two vests in one, so I had to get it. And the fit on me, perfect. It has a perfect length on my body. The next thing I got from the Anona Strip is this graphic shirt. And I just really love the print on it. The sun, the red, the colors. It was just a perfect mix. I've been adding a lot of graphic shirts in my collection because I just want t-shirts that I could layer over under jackets. So I wouldn't be wearing like plain shirts under so it would add a little more color and more interest into the outfit. So yeah, I don't know what brand this is, but it says Peace, so I'm not sure. I just really like the graphics, so I got it. The third item I got from the Anonas Ukai is this crochet vest. Yes, I know it's another vest, but I really love the vest because it's easy to layer here in the Philippines. And I've been wanting a crochet, anything crochet. So happy that I found this in the thrift. Like it's so perfect, like the earth tones, beige, browns, and whites. And I'm going to LU soon, so perfect item to bring to the trip. So yeah, I really love this. Last item I got from Anonas is a jersey. I've been loving blue core outfits recently. Ever since I got my sambas, I've been into mixing jerseys and denim. And I found this one. It's from the brand Anita. I'm not really sure if it's a football jersey or a badminton jersey. But I just really love the colors. I really love the shiny white and the red. It's perfect for my white sambas or my red ones. And I actually wore this already. And I just really love that this jersey has a color on it. And at the back, I didn't notice this before buying, but it says La Salle. And fun fact, I went to La Salle Green Hills during my kinder, grade school, and high school. So, it's actually a plus. So, I really love this jersey. 
Okay, the next set of clothes are from the Makati Central Square Ukay Ukay. I went there with my brother and his girlfriend and I got a lot of clothes. Okay, the first item I got from the Makati Central Square Ukay is this black bowling shirt and it has some beige stripes going down. And I love bowling shirts that has stripes going down because it gives the illusion that you're taller. And in general, I just love bowling shirts because it just gives off a very casual, very retro vintage vibe to your outfit. So yeah. Second thing I got there is actually a short sleeve again. But it, this time it's color white and it says Sea Woody's Ocean Front Grill in the front and at the back. It's the same, but it's like their logo, I think. It's from Hawaii, Maui, so yeah. It's a good take on a simple white short sleeve. And it has a camp or a Cuban color, so it's really perfect for this weather. And I'm bringing this to my beach trip as well. Third item I got is actually pants. It's this denim pants. I don't know what color this is. I think it's like dusty pink. But it's from the brand Calvin Klein. The fit is actually very relaxed. It has a slight taper but not too skinny so it's perfect. I just really love the color so I got it. And I really love the contrast stitching, the white one. So yeah, an added detail. The next item is actually one of my favorites from this thrift haul. And it's this black sweater from Nike. It has a mid swoosh and it has a bigger one. This is actually from the kids section, but it fits me perfectly. And I've been manifesting to find a Nike sweater with a middle swoosh, and I just found it. Really good quality, still in good condition, and yeah, it's a steal. I got this for 200 pesos, such a steal. I knew I just had to get it when I saw it. Last item I got from Makati Central Square is this brown hoodie. But this hoodie is like 100% cotton but it's super thin. Like literally so thin. If you can see that, it's thin. It's just like a long sleeve kinda material. I got it because it's perfect for the Philippine weather. You can wear it by itself or a tank top under. Just a good layering piece. The next Ukay Ukay spot I went to is Flor de Lis in Commonwealth. Flor de Lis is like, I know, how do I explain this? I think it's like Goodwill in America. It has a lot of branches here in the Philippines, mostly in QC, I think. They have a branch in Marikina, in Tandang Sora, Commonwealth, so yeah. But the one I went to is in Commonwealth, and I got a lot of items so let's start okay the first thing i saw there and one of my favorite things here in this haul is this sky blue cargo pants i mean when i saw this i knew i had to get it despite the price it's like 350 pesos it was new arrivals but i knew i just had to get it because it's so good it has this 3d pockets in front like it has like four 3d pockets and zippers i mean it's just really good and the color it's such a rare color to see on cargo pants sky blue you don't see that often so i knew i just had to get it it's really good it has some paneling as well the thing i don't like about this pants is the cuff on the bottom i really don't like cuffs on my pants but since it's long, it's okay because I can just flip it under and it won't show. It just looks like a normal cargo pant. The next thing I got, uh, my brother found this for me and I've been eyeing a Brazil jersey for a while now, like a Brazil football jersey. And my brother found this for me. It's this Nike 2014 Brazil World Cup jersey. If I'm not mistaken, but I'm not sure who, who this player is, Oscar, not sure. But I've just been wanting a Brazil jersey for so long. This is a Nike jersey, but I've always wanted an Adidas one, so I'm still on the lookout for that. The next thing I got is just a simple white shirt with Tokyo in the middle. The Tokyo is color blue, I just love blue accent. And the text is actually in a different material, like felt. So it adds 
a bit of texture to your outfit and I just love small details like that. Uh, next item is actually shorts and it's in this khaki like beige color. It's actually from the brand Oxygen. I think it's like vintage Oxygen and I got it because of the fit. It's not like short shorts, it's like longer shorts. It goes to my knee. I like long shorts because it's like a different silhouette you can do. And I just love the patch at the back as well. It's just a simple khaki shorts but elevated because it's longer. Last item I got from Fleur de Lis is one of my favorites from this haul as well. And if you guys watch my previous hauls, you already know I love Harrington jacket. And when I saw this, I said, wow, the color, grabe yung color, as in the color sold me talaga. And then it's a Harrington jacket, so it's a plus plus. And it's from this brand, Saddle Bread. Not sure what that brand is, but it's made in Hong Kong. And guys, look at the lining. The lining is so cool as well. The next two items are from the Season Pass Flea Market. I went with my brother and I got two cardigans. <laughs> you guys know I love cardigans and the first cardigan I saw was this pink one. It has this very student vibes. It just has a patch here that says cream matching. It's just really cute. Cute color. I love the mix of pink and navy. I wasn't planning to buy anything but the store that I got this from was having a deal that you get two items for 1,000 instead of 600 pesos each. So I saw the second cardigan and I knew I had to get it as well. It's this white graphic cardigan. It's just a plain white cardigan but when you look at the sleeves, it has this black graphic knit. What I liked about it was the sleeves and I just had to get it when I saw it. It's really cool. It reminds me of Stussy Knit Cardigan so that's why I got it. The only thing I don't like about this one is the buttons. It looks very cheap and I don't, I don't really like it but I'm not gonna close it up anyway so it's still good. So These two are the things that I got from the flea market. I got them for 1000 pesos. And yeah, the Buddha Loha sa flea market. The last two items I got is from the Sunday market and it's called the Sidcore Sunday Market and it's held at Eton Sentry's QC. And the first thing I got is this black graphic shirt. I've been into graphic shirts like this lately, very dark. This angel in the middle and surrounding it is like building, parts of the buildings. It's just very cool. It's from the brand Modern Culture. And yeah, I got it because of the graphic. The last item I got is this maroon. Maroon or like purple. I'm not sure what color it is. It actually changes color depending on the lighting. So yeah, it's this maroon, purple, white leg pants. And I actually already uh, altered it to my length so it's perfect and I got it because of the color I don't have any maroon or like purplish trousers yet so that's why I got it and it's a wide leg so it's a plus so yeah that's the last item that is all the items I got from the thrift I hope you guys enjoyed this thrift haul and the mini vlogs and don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and see you guys in the next video.